Hey everyone! Before we get started in this next video, I want to let you know I'm coming up on my five month anniversary on YouTube. That'll be January 25th. And as of today, we are right at 700 subscribers. So that's a huge accomplishment to me. I want to thank every one of you for following me along with this adventure. I greatly appreciate it. Now, the last couple of weeks, you've been following me as we build the Freedom Scope. We're getting close to completion. Uh, this week, I'm going to show you all the software I installed. Now, I'm going to forewarn you that this was quite a complicated uh, video making process for this because I had a, a situation where the computer was so bogged down that the audio kept recording but the computer itself was locking up so it made for a very interesting edit so I hope you guys can keep up I know with what I've done I, I've tried to add a bunch of later labels along the way you know for when my voice is not quite where it should be but again thank you everybody for subscribing um, I appreciate it and this has been a fun ride so far and let's see if we can continue this on through 2020 and get over a thousand subscribers. I would greatly appreciate that. Let's get into this next video. This is Amy with Amy Astro and today we're continuing on with our Freedom Scope build and you can see I've moved over to my office area which is actually hidden in a corner of my living room so I can only record these when people are sleeping or golfing so we have a short time to get through a lot of material and let's just get started today is what you've all probably been waiting for the most it is me taking the mini PC and installing the software and getting everything set up to go. I've got to install software and drivers and everything and I'm going to see if I can pull this off and do some screen shares. So first off, what I'm going to do here is going to be a little bit strange, but I've got the mini PC here and I'm going to power it up and put an HDMI cable to it and it's going to go onto this screen right here as soon as I turn it on. Now what's going to be over here on this screen Let's see if I can uh, get this over so you can see it without disrupting it too bad. Well, there we go. Get the cables to stretch. This is a Microsoft Surface Pro. It's version 3. It's several years old, but it's um, this is what I use out in the field. So when I'm out in the backyard or out on site, this is the computer that I use to remote into my telescope PC and it is uh, Office, it's Microsoft Office 10 Pro, the same as what's on the Scope PC. So they will use a remote desktop protocol software um, application to talk between the two of them. And I have currently plugged it into a larger monitor here. So I should be able to start doing some screen recordings. <clears throat> and in a minute, I'm going to come back on the screen recording and I will have the, the scope PC turned on and I will remote into it from the Surface PC and that's where the screen capture is going to start taking over. So you're going to see me remoting into the scope PC and we'll start recording from there. So we'll be right back in just a moment as soon as I get this all powered on. All right, so real quick, while the mini PC is booting up for the scope, I have it connected to an HDMI cable going to this monitor. I have a wired keyboard here, just to make my life a little bit easier at the beginning. And I've plugged in a mouse to the mini PC. And I've got a power source here, which is the power source that came with the mini PC, which is attached to a wall board going to a 120 volt power supply underneath my desk. So, Naturally, as everything does with Windows, even though I had this turned on a couple days ago, first thing it wants to do is go through another Windows update. And every time you buy a PC, it feels like it does Windows updates for at least two solid weeks after you get it. And it's like, good grief. 
So once this is done doing its update, we'll come back and I will remote into this guy and show you how it's all wrapped up together. All right, so we're back. We have the scope PC here on this screen and it is done with this Windows update. So what I wanna do is I want to log in, my password and everything. And I have a Microsoft Office account on this PC and it's the same account as I've got on this PC. So what the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that both PCs are on the same network. Now I'm using the network inside the house right now that's the basic internet coming in. And the reason I'm using that is because I need internet to download all of the software. So I am here on my A Little Star. Let's come over to this PC. And it is also on a little star. So that's step one. Okay, so now <clears throat> what I need to do is go over to my Microsoft Surface. And I want to remote into <clears throat> the Scope PC. So it's getting confusing here. I've got two mice here, a red and a black one. Let's see. The black one goes to the Surface. So I open up Remote Desktop. And let's see, let me start recording here for you. What I've got is my Scope PC and I've got my Surface PC that I'm going to remote with. And I come down here, let's show you. I come down to this icon which is Remote Desktop Protocol. And let's bring this over to the other screen so you can see it. And it pops up here with Remote Desktop Connection. Let me show you the options here. And my computer name for the scope is called the Freedom. And my username, I made it easy, is also Freedom. So as soon as I typed in Freedom, you type in Freedom backslash Freedom again, and you say connect. You can also use an IP address at this point. And so now it's going to connect. It's saying, do you want to trust this remote connection? And I'm going to say yes. And don't ask me again on this computer. All right, now I need to put in the password for this computer. All right, I felt like I fat fingered that, and I did. So let's try that again. All right, I'm going to say go ahead and remember me so I don't have to put my password in ever again and say OK. So now it's looking for the connection over my home internet Wi Fi and it's going to grab it and it's going to bring it over here and you can see there it is. Now my Freedom PC is remoted over to my Surface PC that would be normally in the house with me. Alright, so what I've got here is I have opened up a copy of my OneNote file over on the Scope PC. Since it's a cloud-based software, it's able to bounce between the two devices without any problem. And I've created these Astro Notes and I've got a section here called Software Setup. And see, I think if we go to this one right here, let's make this just a little bit bigger for us to see. And I have listed all the softwares that I typically install on one of my Scope PCs. And as I go through, I'll just check them off or, you know, what I like about how I did this is I now have all of the web addresses and the paths so I don't have to go searching for them so much. But the first thing that I want to install on this PC is going to be my ASCOM platform. So let's see if I can just double click on that and see if it takes me there. Let's minimize this. Alright, so we are at the ASCOM platform system here and what I want to install here is over on this right side is ASCOM platform version 6.4 SP1 and I will download it. And while these things are downloading I'll try to speed up the process so this won't be such a long video for you. But you can see down here in this corner it is now downloading the software for me. Let's see, what's the next one that I need to? Oh yes, the EQ Mod software here. So let's go ahead and 
double click that one while the first one's downloading and let's just get everything downloaded. And I've also been known to put all these downloaded files on a little uh, thumb drive so if something goes wrong out in the field I can just download it. Alright, we're over here on the SourceForge website and I want to download the ASCOM pad and right here. Download the latest version of ASCOM pad. So let's go ahead and make that download. We also need to install the drivers for the ZWOs and chances are they'll probably download automatically once I plug them in but I'm just going to go ahead and have them down here. And for, here we go, ASI, this driver must be installed in Windows users. So let's go ahead and install that and download it. And there he's downloading down there. And all this is just getting everything ready to go. All right, PHD, I need to get it downloaded. Let's go to its website. You see having those web links is a whole lot faster. And I'll see if I can get those web links posted down in the description below. But sometimes YouTube decides to destroy them and I haven't quite figured out why. All right, and they make it easy here. I am going to download version 2.6.6 for Windows. And he's downloaded down there. This next, oh, the Pole Master. Let's get him downloaded. Solving software from the plane wave. Plate solve two, that's what I needed. Right there. So we'll download that one. And so everything's downloading, and I'll have to unzip all these files in a few minutes to get started on things. Alright, what's next on my list? I don't have a USB hub this time. I don't have a Nightcrawler focuser, but I've got a regular focuser. So let's go to the Moonlight's website. All right, over at the focuser.com website for Moonlight, we're going to go to the download tabs and we're going to install the single focuser and we'll scroll down and we will also install the DRO setup focuser for the ASCOM and this will allow Sequence Generator Pro to run the focusing routine for us. Next we've got to go over to the Pegasus Astro website and go to their support and download tab and install all the items for the Ultimate Power Box version 2. We need to oh, um, install their setup routine, the USB drivers, the ASCOM platform for their focuser, and we'll install the driver for the observatory and this will get us our temperature conditions. So next on our list we're going to install Stellarium which will be our sky chart and we're going to install the Windows version for the 64-bit and then another plugin that we want to go along with Stellarium is called our Stellarium Scope and it's over by Welsh Dragon Computing and he hasn't updated the software in a while, but he, as he says, if it's not broken, don't fix it. So install the last version that he's done, which is actually 2016, and it still works very well. And this will allow you to drive your telescope using Stellarium. So next on my list is we've got to install our Sequence Generator Pro, and that's over on the Main Sequence Software website. And it's off their home page and you can just download it right here and you get a 45 day free trial. Uh, if you already own it, you're allowed to have up to three copies on three different PCs and you just log into your account and you can download an extra seat from there. So let's go ahead to our download tab and here it lists all the versions that are available and just choose the top one here and download the most current version available. And let's go ahead and allow it to download. And I'll come back one last time to my OneNotes and make sure that I've got everything accounted for. We have brought down the ASCOM platform and we have gone to EQMod and downloaded their files. We've got their drivers for our cameras. We've got our guiding software with PHD2. 
I've downloaded the Pole Master software. Uh, Secrets Generator was just downloaded. Uh, Planet Wave for our plate solving, along with the two catalogs that you need to go along with it. If I had a USB hub, you typically, as soon as I turn it on, it will automatically download the necessary drivers for it. I've gone to Moonlight's website, which is focuser.com, and I've downloaded the single focuser and the DRO setup focuser, which is for the non ASCOM version and the ASCOM version to run it. We've gone to, St to Stellarium and we downloaded our sky charts as well as going over to Welsh Dragon Computing and downloaded their Stellarium scope, which is a plugin for Stellarium. And I've also got a, a SharpCat Pro license that I may upload at some point. Oh, and I've downloaded the Pegasus Astro drivers for their ultimate power box. So I believe that's everything that we need. All I have to do now is go back in and unzip all of those files and install all that software. And we'll come back in our next video after all the, ins the software has been installed and we'll open them all up for the first time and we will set them up for you. So I hope that wasn't too long and drug out for you. I'll try to post all the links to the softwares that I used below in the description for you. But for now, I am Amy with Amy Astro. I appreciate your time and we are getting one step closer to having our first light with our Freedom Scope. Thank you so much for your time. If you like this video, please like it below, subscribe, click that alert bell so you know when I upload a new Astro related video. Don't forget to share this video with all of your Astro friends. I appreciate all of you. And as always, I am wishing you all the very clearest of skies. And until next time, I'll see y'all later. Goodbye, y'all.